she really stepped up. But I don't. I don't you have to understand, it. though, sometimes that when women are in situations like that, they don't know how to act. And so that yeah. laughing banter comes off as, I don't know what to do in this situation. I wish these two guys next to me would say something. We, we, there's cameras all over the place. I'm Sukiyana. So I can't really be vulnerable and whoever, whatever her real name is, I can't really be her right now. So I think it, it plays into the, the platform. Like we were talking in the last um, topic. Suki and YKO. You guys familiar with that? Yeah, no, Sorry. I did not think we was gonna have to cover this today. Oh, come on, Randy. come on, man. Of course, we gotta go ahead, man. We gotta, we gotta do the, do the work, man, for the YouTube. I'm gonna play this clip right now. This clip I actually seen when like little Devol posted this, and it was when that guy came over there, that prank guy came in there whispering in his ear. That's the one I seen. So I'm like, damn, what the hell is this shit? I must have, I must have missed this. I don't know what this was. That they were at, but then when I seen him kissing him, like he was doing a little bit too damn much because he grabbed her face and put his tongue all down her mouth, didn't he? It was a previous podcast that she was on as well. So Suki, I don't listen to her music, but apparently she makes a lot of uh, freaky music. You know, she's like the, uh, I guess the female Kales or something like that. She'd be talking about all type of stuff. And then for what I was seeing from the comments, they were saying that that doesn't mean that you can treat her the way he treated. But I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. I want to get you guys thoughts about it. And I do want to hear about how you guys feel about the music that she puts out there um, in reference to this whole situation. <laughs> uh, he has since released a public apology which people said that they didn't think it was uh, sincere um, also heard that there was a conversation that happened right before that that gives additional context to it so even though this is the clip that majority are saying they said it was um, something that was said before them where they was playing around which led to this <laughs> What are you guys' thoughts about it? I'm uh, go, ahead. go ahead, Swing. Yeah, the, the first video that everybody's talking about is that she was like flirting with him. They had a little flirting banter going back and forth. Um, I will say this. What he did was absolutely wrong. You know what I mean? There's no excuse for that. And he did apologize for it. Um, My problem is the selective outrage, though. Because just last year, she was out there twerking on 10-year-olds. So all these people who, I mean, like I said, what happened to her is wrong. But where was all that energy at when she was twerking on a 10-year-old or when she was grabbing man's asses on, on, on the stage without their consent and nobody said anything? What? And then she was trying to eat it and you know what I mean? Put, trying to put her face in and everything. So I'm like, hey, look, I got, you know what I mean? Unless y'all willing to address that as well, I ain't trying to hear it. And then I remember my, my first time ever seeing her was her telling people that she's a classified 304. She claimed that title. Like, this is who I am. I have a daughter and I'm going I'm to show her this and she know that. And I was like, OK, all right, claim it, claim the title. So when I'm not saying what he did was right, but he was doing what you like, you know, you you want to she say she go to men's house. She she. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can say this on here. Give them head or whatever. Do all that stuff. She gets wow. found out. Everything. She does a whole bunch of stuff. And she does it on a consistent basis. So if, if you tell them men or people are hearing this, they're going to think that you want it. I don't think that he should go in there and take it. It needs to be like, I agree. But she's putting it out there that she kind of get and do whatever she wants to do with men. So It's a classic case of how you present yourself is how people treat you. She presents herself like she a hoe. So people going to treat you like a hoe. But dude was out of line for what he did there. Because even if she was flirting, I mean, I heard what she said. She basically was like, oh, you you too young. You don't even know what to do with me. I'll do this. I'll do that. He took that as an opportunity to do what he did. Like, come on, that's that's really some weirdo shit. Like, you could have said some slick shit back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shot you a shot that way. But 
to try to force yourself to kiss her and in public and on TV like that. Like that was just ain't no that there's no excuse for that. He a weirdo all the way around the board. And I'm yeah. hearing people people are upset that the two guys that was there that didn't intervene. It's kind of it's kind of up in the air with that because you don't know if she cool with it or you don't know if she playing along with it because you just heard the conversation that she just said two seconds before, and you know the image that she put out there. So to really be expecting them to like intervene and get physical with this dude is kind of like I don't know. It's kind of a it's kind of a wobbler with nah, that. Nah, Mr. They, said, Bro, like they was at a party and didn't even like up. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> like, the ball looked away. Like, like they was at somebody's house and didn't even like this is normal. Like whatever. He would have got that uh, microphone upside his head because I, I just think that. You know, even with late, what Lady Di was saying, with what she does and and how she carries herself, what she does on her person in her personal life, who knows? But she welcomes that on. Like she gets to say whether she wants to do whatever she wants to do. I think in this instance, it was just he just forced himself on her. No woman wants a man who forces himself on her, no matter how sexual she's talking. Like back up like nobody wants to be you know like that unless you do have an intimate relationship with that person you know so I think he was just out of line for that it's it's and as far as the guy sitting next to her I mean like I said it just seemed like that was just normal for them um you know that I think that sometimes unfortunately the bro code sometimes with some men it's just like oh, that's, that's his business. That's that that's what's going on over there, you know. And sometimes a woman would like you to step in, but they feel like that's their business. And that's was there another video or something? Was there another video stating that she didn't like it, or did she did she release something saying that she had a problem with it? Because she from did, the video, did. it didn't she, seem like she was upset about it. It seemed like when he kissed her the first time, she started laughing. And then when he tried to kiss her the second time, she was laughing again. So was it, did she post that she didn't like it? Yeah, she hasn't said anything about it. What? Did. Right. Look, so did people just to kiss me as if it was will, a I'm not first? opening my mouth. So what I think, ha so she did delete her Twitter, but what I, here's my theory on why she deleted her Twitter, which is also unfair to her, was because she started getting, like when people started coming out to defend her for what happened to her, People were basically just fine to calling her, you know what I mean, a hoe and all of this. And I think that's what made her make that cryptic uh, tweet. I don't think he necessarily offended her the way that everybody thinks that he did. You know what I mean? I think he did read the room wrong. And I think she played into it and was like, yeah, you did kind of do whatever. But I don't think that there's as much beef between them as we all are making it out to be. I, Cause I didn't feel like it was a, I thought something was going to happen or she posted and said, why did he do that? And she didn't want to make her and him look different on camera or something. But if she didn't post anything or say anything, it didn't look like it was something that they didn't expect. It looked like they, if they had a previous conversation and then she was like, oh, okay, I bet you can't handle me or whatever. And he kind of like played with it that way. And she was laughing like, you know, like, oh, okay, he really did it. Or, you know, he really stepped up, but I don't, I you have to understand, though, sometimes that when women are in situations like that, they don't know how to act. And so that yeah. laughing banter comes off as, I don't know what to do in this situation. I wish these two guys next to me would say something. We we There's cameras all over the place. I'm Sukiyana, so I can't really be vulnerable. And whoever, whatever her real name is, I can't really be her right now. So I think it, it plays into the, the platform. Like we were talking in the last um, topic, when you have a platform, you know, people are running with the message that you're selling, but she doesn't sell come run up in my mouth. Yeah, but we don't she know. Do. We really don't That's know what the, how she feels about it. So we can go to the negative and say, she probably felt bad about that. Or she probably didn't like that. Or we can, you know, Go off or we can say what she wanted it and she was okay with it and it was okay. Well, I, I can't say if she didn't or she did because she didn't say that. You you That's can't true. say either way. You know, you can say okay if she didn't want it or she didn't want it. Yeah, that was wrong. And if she did, then they they were just playing around. But you really can't say like to go all the way negative and just say you know he's wrong for that, not even knowing the the content or how she feels about it. I think. Like um, Sweeney said, the, the reaction that she got off of it, she, she took her post down, but it could be from the reaction that people were saying that she deserved it because of the music that she 
she posts or the music that she does. So I, I'm not saying that what he did was right if she didn't like it and if she didn't you know, want it. But I really can't say that he was wrong for that if she didn't mind it. 